hoping these haven't glued themselves on and start chipping things off because that would just be horrible ah, oh that feels a bit stuck well i think it's time to put some backs and fronts onto this thing don't you agree cue montage With all of that rounded off we can think about putting one of these on the top now this is a, a test piece that I cut out a while ago uh, so it does kind of bend around it creates that curve that we're looking for but it comes out a little bit short it's surprising how much length is taken off by that curve so you can see there we're not quite reaching the top so what I'm going to do is try a few different sizes cutting out on paper. Did you know that these big powerful laser machines can be delicate enough to cut out paper? Let's have a look. In fact, it can be so delicate that that didn't even cut. That's literally just drawn a line on the paper. <laughs> Who knew? There we go, that's better. Here we go. One piece of paper. So if we put that on there, there we go, that slightly overlaps on all edges. So even when that's a solid lump, that should do. Now I'm quite confident that once that's actually glued onto the edge, that little overhang that's gonna end up being there, then I'm gonna be able to sand that off uh, to make that flush with the edging. <laughs> So, did I say confident? I meant absolutely bricking it. But let's give it a go anyway. <laughs> Here we go again. and glue this on so I've got clamps at the ready homemade ones not homemade ones and we'll see if we can get this attached glued onto there I'm going to glue it all the way down that center spine as well as all the way around the edges let's see if we snap it Time for a brew. Right, let's see what we've got. Let's take these little ones off first. Hoping these haven't glued themselves on and start chipping things off, because that would just be horrible. Ah, oh, that feels a bit stuck. Right, so just 
is this one. There we go. Well, I think we've come out with a very interesting shape. So it's got nice little curviness on there. Looks rather nice along there. Got some nice shape to it. But is it strong enough? Well, there's, there's some flex there. Can you see that? I don't know how much of that I actually want to keep. Now, I did do a test piece with one of these and filled it full of Danish oil. Absolutely flooded it. Um, and that did a pretty decent job in setting this fairly stiff. So I think we're going to be okay by doing that. So we're going to need to sand this off to clean it. And then I'm going to put a load of Danish oil on, even though the whole guitar is not finished yet. But I'm going to do it to strengthen up that section. Light sanding that's got such a beautiful texture on there, it's so smooth yet fractionally bobbly. Nice. Danish oil I've managed to pour into there. Uh, seeping into the cracks, soaking into the wood, which will just help to set things a little bit. And while that sets, you watch this video here and I'll see you soon. God bless.